In 2020, it was announced that The Princess and the Frog would officially be taking over the Splash Mountain attraction at both Disneyland and Disney World in the near future. However, for months and almost years, we heard no mention of this project, nor did we have an opening time frame. Today, Disney has announced the opening date for the now-named Tiana's Bayou Adventure Log Flume. What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to Exploring Attractions. My name is Scott, and you're watching your stop for all things theme park and attraction-related. If you're new here and you want to see videos like the one that you're watching right now, make sure to subscribe with those bell notifications on. I'll leave this video a like at the end if you enjoyed it, and as always, check out our social media pages on Instagram and on Twitter at Exploring Attractions and that's where you'll get your up to date the latest and greatest theme park news. Well everybody I did predict that we'd be hearing something about the Princess and the Frog attraction except I didn't think it was going to come this early. I actually predicted it in my D23 Expo video that we'd hear an opening time frame. However we do have an opening time frame for this attraction and now of course the new name Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Tiana's Bayou Adventure will open up in late 2024 at both Disneyland and Magic Kingdom over in Florida. The attraction will take guests on a musical adventure inspired by the beloved story and characters from the fan favorite film. Picking up where the film left off, guests will join Princess Tiana, Naveen, and jazz-loving alligator Louie on an adventure through the bayou as they prepare to host a one-of-a-kind Mardi Gras celebration where everyone is welcome. Now I gotta say, it is so refreshing that we finally have an opening date for this ride because there was a big question on whether or not it was put on the shelf and whether or not it's still happening because even with an opening time frame like late 2024 we still don't know you know what could the what the future could be and by that i mean i feel like they're really dragging their feet with this project it was announced in 2020 and this is just going to be a simple re-theme i mean the fact of the matter is that even epic universe a full-on theme park could open up before this attraction and obviously that's comparing two different things but still just to put it into perspective for you all now they did release a video showing that walt disney imagineering went to louisiana they researched the bayou they did a whole bunch of like a whole research project and a whole research trip to really get this attraction right which honestly i like to see that i like to think that there's a lot of thought put into this so I, i'm all for that and i'm excited to see what they learned and what they're able to implement into this attraction as far as the overall bayou theme goes now there is no time frame on when the last time we can enjoy splash mountain is we don't know if that's going to be early 2024 or next year but I'm going to go out and make a prediction right now, and I'm going to say the last time that we'll be able to ride Splash Mountain is right before its annual maintenance at the end of 2023, especially if they're just doing a retheme of the attraction and they're deeming it as an opening up in late 2024. They only need about seven to eight months to do a retheme. I mean, at least that's about how long Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout took. Obviously, you're working with a whole different ride system, and it's a lot bigger of an attraction. However, I do feel like it will be a lot easier year than something like Guardians of the Galaxy getting the timing right and everything. I'm sure Walt Disney Imagineering has already started creating figures, animatronics, has everything laid out and all they need to do is just essentially rip out the current standing attraction and replace it all with Princess and the Frog stuff. Hell they may even be repurposing some of the already existing animatronics and just theming them up to Princess and the Frog. I am really happy that it's the same opening time frame for both the East Coast and the West Coast. We don't have to go travel to the East Coast just in case they're opening up early we can all experience it at the same time and enjoy it at the same time unless it's going to be one of those situations like rise of the resistance where they open it up like one month later at a different park which i hope isn't the case however i would not be surprised that disney did that to double on their revenue and get more people to go to the west coast version and then go to the east coast version as well and you know a lot of people are criticizing the name tiana's bayou adventure as it doesn't really seem like a very creative name Actually, DSNY Newscast put out on Twitter a couple of different name options that they could have gone with, and honestly, I gotta agree with some of them. Tiana's Bayou Falls, Mardi Gras Mountain, Tiana's Bayou Splash, these are all different names that I think would have a way better ring to them than Tiana's Bayou Adventure. You have Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, a whole other bunch of adventures. I just think that this name doesn't fit as well. I really like their idea for Tiana's Bayou Falls though. I think that would have been perfect. And while the name isn't the best, the logo does look very, very elegant. And honestly, like it looks really nice. It's going to look nice um, wherever it's plastered at. I'm sure that we'll get merch for it. I'm sure we'll get little pins for it. 
it's going to look really nice regardless of where they put that. And that's what you want, is you want a universal logo that's going to look good on everything you put it on. So I can't wait to see it displayed on merch and just everywhere around the parks in general. Now as far as everything else goes in details, Disney didn't give us a whole lot other than like I said, they're talking about Walt Disney Imagineering, going on a research project and whatnot, but there's not a lot of new concept art in the ride. We just obviously got the logo and a promo image with the logo and the opening time frame on a, on a concept art that we've already seen before. So I think as time goes on, we'll start to see more renderings of what we can expect on the ride and we'll start to see the different show scenes that we can expect. Hell, maybe even we can see the rumored Dr. Facilier scene and what that's going to look like. All these things are definitely sure to draw excitement and anticipation and I cannot wait for this attraction to open up in late 2024 and now that we have, like I said, an official time frame, it makes me even more excited. I am going to miss Splash Mountain a lot, but like I always say, new is typically better and it's time for Splash Mountain to go and I would hope that they'd start doing this with other classic attractions and I'm not talking Haunted Mansion here or Pirates of the Caribbean but still they need to refresh some of their older attractions to make way for newer experiences that guests can look forward to and have fun at every time that they visit these different parks. It's still a question on whether or not we're going to get some theming around the attractions in both Magic Kingdom and over at Disneyland. People are vouching for Pecos Bill to turn into Tiana's place and like I mentioned before I think getting rid of Winnie the Pooh would obviously make perfect place for Tiana's place as well although you're getting rid of a whole attraction right there that's a big plot of land so they'd have to make it some elaborate like really really good three course five course whatever you want to say dining similar to like be our guest over at Magic Kingdom but I'm sure we'll hear more about that in the near future and like I said I think a lot will come out of the D23 Expo as well as more news regarding Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Anyways everyone I want to know your thoughts down below in the comments section do you like this name do you think it should be changed and are you excited for Tiana's Bayou Adventure to finally be opening up late 2024 at both Disneyland Park in California and Magic Kingdom Park in Florida. My name is Scott and you've been watching Exploring Attractions, Positivity is Key, and most importantly, remember to keep exploring. Peace out everybody.